Hey what's up guys, it's Ryan and welcome back to the Carved Brink quest mod playthrough. In the last episode we entered this little atrium here and we climbed up to the top in order to see if we could find Gelada. Um, the fauceted stones is out this door here. In the last episode it said I required a key to go in, but after I reloaded the save and came back to this location it was just unlocked. So I don't really know what happened there, but it's unlocked now so we can travel through there. And I do want to do a little bit more exploring before we actually leave here because there is another door on this side that I actually haven't went up to yet. What is this? Is this also faceted stones? Oh no, this is the gallery. Abamoth Gallery. So we're going to head through here. If you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, I would recommend going back and watching them. I'll leave them linked in the description for you. And let's just see what else is inside these buildings here. It looks like we're finally in the building that we've been trying to get into all along with these treasure rooms. Oh, nice. So now we can uh, quickly access all other areas of faceted stones now that we're in this room. So I'll be able to go out this door and it'll probably take me to one of those locations that are outside the faceted stones. But we're not going to because we still want to stay on the inside of here. All right. Tons and tons of treasure to get in this quest mod. Definitely so much to loot. All right. So I already came through this way. Looks like there's more over here. I'm trying not to miss anything, just in case. I don't think... I think I got pretty much everything out of these little uh, doors here. But we're just gonna make sure anyway. Oh, another aerial box. What do we get? The Dragon War added? Oh, it looks like there are some books that they've just added to my inventory. That's interesting. Let's uh, continue on here then. Uh, which way can we go? Is there any more doors? Yeah, there's some right here, too. Oh, we got company. Jesus. Whoa, what is that? Jeez. Bring it on! Oh, I'm going to need a shield now. Alright. Yeah, I guess I don't really need um, Talk to Imp on anymore, so I can use Unrelenting Force or Whirlwind Sprint. Out of here, Dark Hoppers. Alright, was that a chest? Yes. How could I possibly miss it? And I think that is just about all of the secret doors or the doors that were leading around so now we can continue on down the center here and see if we can find gelada is there anything back here that i can explore huh is that really just two chests all the way back there oh yeah I've always been that person that just explores, like, literally every inch of anything that I play just to find secret loot, because I love, like, whenever... Oh, this is going to be a throwback here. Uh, I used to play a lot of Halo Reach back in the day, and I would always build these obstacle course maps that I would have my friends complete, and I would always love hiding, like, special little Easter eggs in each of them, and I feel like if I was a mod creator, like, I really want to learn how to make mods, because it's just so interesting to me that people can just make their own content and put it into the game and anyone can play it. I just love that. And that's why I started doing this, you know, two years ago whenever I started making these top five videos. I always wanted to be in a mod or at least help make one or at least be part of one in some way, whether I helped script it or I helped do something. I think that would be so fun. So if anyone knows, if anyone knows anybody who knows like a mod or anything or 
if anyone's a mod creator and wants to, you know, collab a little bit, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I mean, I can't program or anything, but definitely, uh, I'm out there. So if you need a voice, I'm your man. If you need some, uh, some help writing a little story, I'm your man. <laughs> just like plugging myself just to see if there's any modders out there. That'd be pretty interesting now that I think about it. If we could just get into a mod, that would be crazy. Just to play on my Xbox, just seeing something that I'm in. Oh, that would be unreal. That would be totally unreal. What is this? What? This is exactly what I was talking about. And here oh. we are, meeting again, my good guest. I've been expecting to see you there given how curious you and your kind are. Welcome to Balmenicelia, also known by your predecessor, Samarian, as Abamath. Time ago, this fortress was erected by outsiders. They arrived here the same way you did, but all great things come to an end, no exceptions. Watching their fall, what destroyed them, what made them disappear. It all made me ponder on many things. Though, I think you're the one wondering what happened to them. Well, of course you are. Let's take a look, shall we? We shall. Where are you bringing me? I'm confused and scared. <laughs> the important events in our lives begin quite insensibly. Disease, no exception. And it so happens that sometimes a disease strikes that does not look nor behave like usual disease, as is in this case. Clear was that there were symptoms in the form of numbed skin, dulled eyes, unnatural pallor of the face. But that came later. It began with gratuitous aggression and cruelty. But you wouldn't assume such behavior of your acquaintances as the manifestation of some disease. At first, not one understood what was taking place, thought of as some coincidence. And when the sickness had become pandemic, when healers suspected something was wrong, it was too late. The sickness worked fast. There was no cure for the victim's bloodthirst, as there was no cure for the survivor's fear. A tragic tale, isn't it? After some time, Abimov had ceased to be, but the sickness that had done it, did it vanish. Wow. That's crazy. Oh wait, this is... Oh shit. This is where we met Abamoth. Or not Abamoth, uh... This is where we met Sin Marion whenever we hit the peace pipe, I remember. Because there's this little thing here. Oh, it's an Ariel's box. What's in it? I didn't get anything. I put in four and I got nothing. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, like I said, this is exactly what I was talking about. People get to make their own stuff and just put it right into the game. And, like, seeing something as beautiful as this in Skyrim that's just completely not vanilla at all just blows my mind every time I see it. So let's see if St. Marion's actually standing over here again. Or if it's Gelada this time. Back off, Corrupted Shade. Can't stop me. Memory Stone, there we go. You have acquired St. Marion's Memory Stone. Now you can interact with goblins and understand their language. Perhaps the Lasting Bones tribe can use your help? So 
So it looks like this just talks about how he transcribes it into the goblin language. More of these ancient crystals. I'm, I'm just going to keep taking them. Just to see. What is that? Is that a mace? That looks cool. Let me see that. Burns the target 22 points. Targets on fire take extra damage. So 22... Um, ooh, if I upgrade that, that would probably be super good. Goblin language part three. Wim means of course, and Chi means and. Oh wow, it's like a whole transcription of all of it. That's awesome. A note. Healer Vedin, we have no more space to take the sick. The number of infected grows uncontrollably. At a rate like this, more than half of the colonists will be contaminated within a month. We have to do something, and we still don't know the source of the problem. Looks like they were in real big trouble before I got here. I kind of miss hearing, hey, good looking. <laughs> kind of miss that on my shoulder. Ooh. Nice. Goblin language part two. Looks like we have all three parts now. Yeah, it just like translates all of it. Another note. This mad, mad disease strikes at us, slowly killing our colony from the inside. The trouble began like no one could expect. At first we stopped receiving supplies from the outer world. There were plenty of rumors regarding a war with the Nords, but nobody here believed in them. Nobody wanted to believe in them. I can't imagine how we still live here. Perhaps I should have listened to my sister and returned back like she did. Oh my. Now we're starting to learn the fate of this place. Hopefully there's something we can do to stop this. in Marion's note. Hello, if you are reading this, make sure to take this note back to my study. I believe you know its location, provided you're staying here. Thank ye. St. Marion, the brightest and cleverest. From sky... From Skyrim to stone faucets. From Skyrim to stone's faucets. Boundaries... Oh. From Skyrim to stone's facet boundaries. Settlers arrive in their tens. The expedition was headed by Mark Vett Alanther. This note record memory, for it marks the day of construction for the fortress began. The light of Ariel guides us in our advancements. Take it back to my study. Maybe that was them telling us, hey, go to my study and get the memory stone. That's probably what it was. Unless there is another way to go. There is another way to go down there. Is this his study here? Or was this something else? Who cares? Oh, I missed that chest. <laughs> There's just a little tiny deer chest right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go down there. What? Nakas! Nakas! Is 
Is that more goblin books? Goblin language part one. Oh, I guess it was a separate book then. So yes and no. There's on is no and na is yes. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any other ways to go here. Oh, it's an alchemy lab. Another note. This looks like a perfect place for my studies. I must show the Master Kittaser all my research materials regarding the manipulation of matter. I'm sure they will make an impression on him. So can I combine all this stuff that I found throughout the journey into alchemy ingredients in order to get more money and more potions and just be like an absolute god from how much powder I've been collecting throughout this entire process? Because I have so much. Is this powder, is it considered ingredients? No. It's considered, oh, it's just considered potions, okay. heard you. There's a bunch of different ways we could go. <laughs> a bunch of different opportunities for us here. Oh no, don't sit on the... <laughs> I thought that was a chest. I just sit down. You know, I'm tired. Might as well take a load off. Another note. What did that say? I know it just started with no more meetings. No more meetings, Elvella. Your husband, always so calm, finally showed his true temper. So this is like a whole like civilization down here. Just completely abandoned and completely overrun with disease. Oh wait, was there... There was more somewhere, I remember seeing. Ariel's Forge! Ooh, I haven't made the robes yet. Or the bracers, I don't think. Nice. Getting some unique armor here. Moving on. More paragons, scrolls, notes. Today, on the watch, I saw the strangest thing. I was even ready to believe what I witnessed was a figment of my own imagination because of some hangover. But in oblivion's sake, I have not ever taken a sip of booze while on duty. And what now? Am I supposed to believe this thing was real? Light from the lantern composed a shadow on the wall when suddenly this shadow began to move. It transformed into a mare-like silhouette, fully covering one of the towers, and then disappeared for good. I have no idea what this was, but I'm sure this will not end well. I 
another note. Commander, after many attempts to break into the laboratory and those monstrous killings, Kittiser demands to strengthen his guard. We must take decisive action and get to the bottom of this before panic arises. We pretty much get to see the entire thing unfold throughout these notes. This is great. We're learning a lot here. Oh my god, corrupted shade rule this place. What? A magic mirror? Okay, I have a feeling it's gonna take us somewhere else. So I don't know if I wanna do that just yet. We'll come back and we'll do that. I feel like that's like progressing me forward. Two cases of madness in a single library per week? What an oblivion did they read? Here's an enchanter and another note. Neb Rhinus, stop muttering nonsense about my young assistant, especially about him trying to kill you. Such words are not even in his vocabulary, as he sure as Spriggins was not able to turn this huge shoveling over it on his own. I can't pick up that paragon? What if I go? Foos! Foos! Foos seem to work. Let's try out this magic mirror now, I suppose. Is there nothing down there, or is that the right way to go? Yeah, it looks like that's the way we have to go, so... Magic mirror time. Oh! Interesting. I can change everything about myself. I'm gonna give myself long hair. Oh, luscious. Oh, I've never had long hair before. <laughs> and now we have hair. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Being able to have, uh... Something to be able to change your appearance at all times, magic mirror. Why not, right? All right, let's continue on. Come on, shout. I've been trying to shout at these guys. I can't shout, I won't let me. Don't you just hate that? You're trying to shout and kill some enemies and they're just like getting some wide open blows on you. On Abamath and Those Who Dwelled Here, Volume 1. Hello. Well, I have to admit that at some point I found myself lost in the curiosity of what really took place here, and tried talking to the local inhabitants. I'd also like to point out that the vagrant, restless spirits were not of particular use. Moreover, you must have taken notice of the peculiar appearance they possess. Nevertheless, with a spare evening at my leisure, I decided to try and summon one of the local inhabitants. 
one whose death was not gruesome. I take it you have no doubts I was successful, have you? Below is a record of our conversation. If, for whatever reason, you've obtained it before me, this likely means I have an urgent matter to attend, and you are to return this record to my study. And please, would you kindly mark it as read at once? If anyone in Somerset reads my records before I get a chance to verify them, I will find you, and be assured, my wrath is atrocious. St. Marion, the brightest and cleverest. What follows is the record of the conversation. Are you able to hear me, spirit? Do you understand me? I hear. I understand. I have a powerful spell that translates mental images so that you can understand my speech, and I yours. My name is Sinmarion. I am the greatest wizard among the living. Who are you? I am Othanile, Saimedia, a constrained woman, wife to one of the Strivreve, the soldiers assigned to this fortress. I'm sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. <laughs> Seems there are some issues with my spell, and frankly, don't want to hear about how you're trying to make specific the mental image, trying to concentrate. By what name do you call your fortress? I don't remember. A pity. Let's try again. I need something as a baseline. It hurts. Endure. Focus on something else. Explain to me the meaning of Mary Spentelef- What the fuck? Explain to me the meaning of this. Am I correct in my assumption that Parrot is your name of Parriot? Our priest did not explain what this place was. If they formed a pact with the Dedra, then we did not know about it. As for that, this means a folk of kings who reign over snow-covered mountains. Wow, you people aren't aliens, are you? And not some filiate folk to Somerset's Altmers. What they tell the young ones is, a long time ago our kin resided to Somerset, but then we became the people of snow the last true image of the ancient race, and Tamriel's North is now our home. Very interesting. Even the Dunmer were fascinated by this. Ancient people, you say? You mean Altmers, I presume. And people of snow. Falmer, right? Sounds about right. And what happened here, dear Lady Falmer? It was very painful. I do not remember. You better remember. I don't feel like dispelling you, but I shan't have much choice if you won't answer my questions. Enjoy your afterlife while you're able. I want to scream. I don't want to remember. Oh my god. We're starting to really learn about this place here. So what is our next step after this, then? Down there? Looks like that might be one of our only options here. I'm just gonna drop down, then. Looks safe. Yeah, I was looking for another note. Sarian, order the people to take more torches before heading to watch duty, and tell them to be on their guard. Last time, there were sightings of some crazy mare, of course. He was not the one to cause this. Most likely, he was trying to get away from that place. The worst thing, we don't even know who acts against us. Anything back here that I may have missed? I don't think I've really missed anything so far. I'm pretty sure I got most of it. All right. So that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Carved Bring playthrough. I'm really enjoying this and it just keeps getting more and more interesting as we progress through this mod. And hopefully you guys feel the same way. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you think. And if you enjoy this series, please be sure to also let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you're new. It really helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will talk to you guys later.